Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. And I really have a, a short time, but I really want to release this word and then pray shortly that I got to go. I'm running. But I just feel like I need to share with you because it's so good. Hi. Um, I was like uh, maybe two and three hours today I was soaking in the word. And God gave to me this word, uh, Rome, chapter Rome 8, uh, 11. You, maybe you may, uh, you know, open the, your books because uh, my pronunciation may not, it's enough. Like, uh, he said this. It's very one interesting. It's the spirit of one. The spirit of one who raised Jesus from the dead. Um, to where? If, if the spirit of one, okay, if. If the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, if dwells in you, in you, and then he will, and uh, he, um, he <laughs> who raised. Christ from the dead will also, also will give the life to, he didn't say to you. He said, this is very important. Will give life to your moral bodies. Isn't that interesting? He didn't say, he will give the life to you. He didn't say that. It's specifically he's mentioned. He will give the life to your moral bodies. Who? Uh, the, 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 through his spirit? Through, through his spirit? Who? Dwells in you. Isn't that an amazing word? I knew it, this word, but today it just, just shined. God just, I was like soaking. Well, God, you know what? I, my whole desire want to be oneness with the Jesus Christ. That's all my desire. Nothing else. No, nothing else. That's the most of my desire. Just oneness with the Lord. And I'm just crying out, oh, God, Jesus, I want to be oneness with you. I want to be oneness with you. I want to be oneness. How can I can be oneness with you? How can I mingle with you? And Jesus said, well, it is simple. Yeah. I am the word. You just mingled with the word of me, the scripture. Don't read, don't research. Chewing, chewing, make permeate, saturate into your being. You just chewing, chewing until you get the revelation. Chewing, chewing until this word became lemma. It's not the reading. This is not uh, something, uh, books we just read, read through, you know, research. A lot of people are very good, therefore researching, but they don't know how to eat because Jesus is our food, you know. He said, who he eat me, he will live by me, right? We need to eat this. And I ate up, I ate up this Rome, chapter 8, 11, and I just, God, Father, why you specifically mentioned who he will give the life to you? You why you didn't say? You said he will give the life to your moral body. What does that mean? Like God said this. You know, his redemption work is done, right? So his, his, his redemption work done in our spirit. So he, our spirit already redeemed. But you know, it, to be re, all redeemed our whole body until this body, we, we must practice this redemption of the, his redemption, which he already has done in spirit. His, his work in, it's done in the heaven. But you know, 
we, by we believing this redemption is supposed to come to our soul, which means when we surrender our soul to you, to, to his spirit, and then our soul also redeemed. This redemption is effect to the, our soul. Then when our soul is fully redeemed, our body also redeemed. So that's the final our redemption. That's why the, the God said the Bible, sonship, and then coma, and redemption of the body, right? So this, you, you can read it through, you know, the Rome chapter 8, chapter 8. Really, really, so much, you know, revelation there, you know. So it's when our body is redeemed, it's just fully accomplish everything, what he ha already has done. But we need to practice how. We have to believe and practice. Um, a lot of people believe the redemption of the spirit, but their living is not like person who redeemed. It's, what is the point then? That's just doctrine. We have to practice this redemption of what God is accomplishing for us. So, you know, I'm just, every day I'm surrendering my soul to, he, to the Spirit. Then my soul became oneness with Spirit, which is redeemed. And I'm powerful. This, this, um, soul is doesn't, um, this, this the spirits take over my soul and my soul is take over my body. So, I just, I wish I can speak English better. And I have so much things in here and I hard to explain. So anyway, God, this word said, He will give to the life, give life to your mortal body through His spirit who dwells in you. It's very, what is the spirit? The spirit is raised the Jesus Christ from the dead. The same spirit we, in, in us. When I had cancer, uh, 12 years ago, and I just enjoyed his spirit. I didn't beg. I didn't ask him for healing. I just enjoyed this spirit which conquered the dead, you know? So are you sick? Are you tired? And, um, you have to believe this word. <laughs> He will give the life to your moral body. Your body. He didn't talk about your spirit. He talked about your body. Huh? So why you say? It's just, it's not ridiculous. If you enjoy his life, it's impossible to be sick. It, I, I just, I cannot be sick. Even though I, you know, sleeping two hours, three hours every day since I came back from Australia. Look at me, how much I have full of energy. This, this is it. This is real. This word of God is real. You know, He gave the life to our moral body through His Spirit who dwells in us, who dwells in you. You believe it. He. The, 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 the spirit who raised Jesus Christ from the dead, he dwells in you, and he gave the life to you, just like he gave the life to me. That's why I'm so energizing. You, you saw my Facebook, how, you know, like, compare last year, I'm just so much younger. This is ridiculous. Even though I'm sleeping so less because I'm enjoying his life every day. This is the key. You don't need somebody's prayer like me anointed. No. You have anointing inside of you. You have that spirit who raised the Jesus Christ from the dead. That life give it the life, that the spirit give the life to your mortal body right now, today. Why only me? The same Holy Spirit you have. You can have that. You can have that. How about that? <laughs> oh, this word is so good. I was like two hours just chewing, chewing, chewing. And I just, I feel like I'm just more and more energy coming back. Wow, this is it, this is it. This is re talking about redemption of the body. When we believe the, the word of God and the enjoy of the word of God and the, the life just filled by filled, filled, feeling, 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 feeling. And our body just redeemed, redeemed, redeemed. And it became just 
just like a glorious body, just like Jesus Christ, who even goes through the world, you know, who, the transformation, you know, transportation. And I'm just, we're living in the Eden, Eden, because we were Eden, but by fall on, we, uh, we just uh, fell down into the earth so who is under the sun. Where is strife? Where is fatigue? Sweat. But Eden, there is no sweat. There is no strife. And then Jesus Christ actually brought, you know, by the redemption of the, His blood, and then He brought us back to Eden. So we are in Eden now. It's true that the Bible say we he raised us with him, Jesus Christ. We are seated in his throne with him, right? So we are where is that the heaven? It's Eden. He's talking about the Eden. So we are living in the Eden. There is no time time limited. There is no you know the, the sweat, no stripe. So we, we can be, you know, we can be younger, like uh, opposite way, just like me, a time redemption. Last year, I was more older, looks older, right? Right now, I'm more energy, more younger. This is it. It's, it's, it, this is just glorious, glorious life, you know? So when Nancy Cohen went to the tribe, Indonesia, they are just try, they are really, really, um, scared. They are like, they eating body. And, um, you know, then she went and let there be light, whispered, let there be light, let there be light. And they, whoa, they knocked. She didn't even preach gospel. You know, we have that power. We just, Whenever you go the shopping center and street, and you just release His word, because you have power in you. Let there be light. Let there be light, and you will see the atmosphere instantly shifting. That's what I'm experiencing. And then today, and then my one of a client this morning, she's a, she's from um, South Africa, and she asked me pray. And I just hand on like this, let there be light. And she knocked out, literally. She's not like slowly, no. Boom, like that. <laughs> Into my old fix. <laughs> it's so powerful because I release the word with believing. Believing is so powerful than you think. It's, you have all things in your hand. Do you think God gave into the world only to me? And to you too. You're just not exercising. You're not really believing with the whole from your heart. You know, you exercise, believe it, and apply to your spirit, to your soul, to your body. And you can live it so powerfully like me. This, this end time, God is pouring His Spirit into all of the mankind. Not the specific people like the uh, Old Testament, you know. Not only few people anointed. You go to the YouTube, how many people, just ordinary people got anointed like me. You know, three and a half years ago, I didn't know this anointing on, uh, can come to me. I just believed all the people who special people, you know, 40 days, you know. <laughs> 40 days of fasting every almost many times. Those people only get this, you know, anointing. I never done 40 days. Even one week uh, fasting, I never have done. People ask me, have you ever done fasting like 10 days, one week? My husband did, but I have not done yet. Well, well I living, I living in the glory zone every day. You know, I'm not talking about you don't need to do. Oh, well, we, well, yes, I'm not ordinary. Yes, that's true. Because God, just not in extraordinary God, you know, God really living in me practically. You know, when I born again, 20 years old, I already, He lived in me. But why now I'm changed? Because I'm beginning to really believing and then exercising my spirit and yield my, my, myself to